Spotting a potential narcissist on social media, signs and subtypes of narcissism. There's been an increasing amount of focus on narcissism lately. The volume of Google searches for the word narcissist has grown exponentially in the last 12 years. The trend seems to follow the same pattern exhibited by other related search terms such as millennial and selfie. Therefore, as promised, this episode will look at how to identify these people on social media. Social media has become a breeding ground for individuals seeking attention and validation from others. Among these individuals, some may exhibit narcissistic traits, and social media provides them with a platform to showcase their grandiosity and seek admiration. While not everyone who exhibits narcissistic traits is a narcissist, it's essential to understand the signs and be aware of them. This article will discuss how to spot a potential narcissist on social media and the different subtypes of narcissism. First, we must ask the question, won't discussing how to spot a narcissist on social media make them better at hiding their narcissism? This is a great question. While there is no specific research I could find that suggests that discussing narcissism publicly could make narcissists better at hiding their traits, there are some arguments that highlight the potential limitations of focusing too much on narcissism, which is why I try to limit focusing on either narcissism or borderline personality disorder, BPD. One argument is that labeling people as narcissistic may be harmful, as it can lead to stereotyping and stigmatization of individuals with such traits. In addition, some researchers have suggested that a focus on narcissism could distract from addressing more fundamental issues, such as structural inequalities and social injustice, which contribute to the development of narcissistic traits, Miller and Campbell, 2010. However, there are also arguments in favor of discussing narcissism openly. For instance, a better understanding of narcissism can help individuals identify and address narcissistic behaviors in themselves and others. Moreover, research has shown that people with higher levels of narcissism tend to resist treatment. Therefore, raising awareness about the potential harms of narcissism may encourage more people to seek help. Pincus and Lukowitzki, 2010. Overall, while there are valid arguments on both sides, there is no evidence to suggest that discussing narcissism openly could make narcissists better at hiding their traits. Therefore, it may be helpful to continue discussing narcissism in an open and informed manner, while being mindful of potential limitations and biases. Today, we will discuss an important topic. Identifying a potential narcissist on social media can help avoid toxic relationships. While my own experience taught me this lesson, sharing this knowledge is essential to help others. By recognizing the warning signs early on, people can make informed decisions and prevent themselves from falling into similar traps. I also recognize my bias on this topic. However, I have done a lot of research and have done my best to be as objective as possible. Let's do this. Common traits are as follows. Excessive self-promotion. Narcissists constantly promote themselves and their achievements on social media platforms. They may brag about their accomplishments and post pictures of their material possessions. Self-promotion is a common trait among narcissists on social media, where individuals use various tactics to promote themselves and their accomplishments to gain admiration and attention from their followers. Here are some examples of self-promotion tactics that narcissists may use on social media platforms. 1. Bragging Narcissists may frequently post updates about their achievements, possessions, or experiences to gain admiration from their followers. For example, they may post pictures of their luxurious vacations, their expensive cars, or their prestigious job titles. 2. Humble bragging Narcissists may use a form of self-promotion called humble bragging, where they try to make themselves look humble while promoting their accomplishments. For example, they may post a status update about how tired they are from working so hard, but then mention their high salary or recent promotion. 3. Name dropping. Narcissists may use name dropping to promote themselves and their connections. For example, they may post a picture with a celebrity or mention their association with a well-known person to gain attention and admiration from their followers. 4. Exaggerating accomplishments. Narcissists may exaggerate their achievements to make themselves look more impressive to their followers. For example, they may claim to have won awards or accolades that they did not receive. 5. Creating a false image Narcissists may create a false image of themselves on social media to gain admiration and attention from their followers. For example, they may use filters or Photoshop to enhance their physical appearance, or they may post pictures that showcase a luxurious lifestyle that they do not lead. Need for admiration 
Narcissists have an insatiable need for admiration and validation from others. They may constantly post selfies and seek validation from their followers. The need for admiration is a crucial trait of narcissists on social media, where individuals may seek excessive praise and recognition from others. Here are some examples of how narcissists may display their need for admiration on social media. 1. Seeking validation from others. Narcissists may post content on social media to garner praise and validation from others, such as posting flattering pictures of themselves or sharing their accomplishments. 2. Obsessing over likes and followers. Narcissists may obsess over the number of likes, comments, and followers on their social media accounts, using these metrics to gauge their popularity and status. 3. Becoming upset if they do not receive enough attention. Narcissists may become upset or offended if they do not receive enough attention or admiration from their followers. They may lash out at those who do not validate their perceived superiority. 4. Comparing themselves to others. Narcissists may constantly compare themselves to others on social media, seeking to prove their superiority or gain an advantage over their rivals. 5. Believing they are entitled to admiration. Narcissists may believe that they are entitled to admiration and praise from others, and may become angry or resentful if they feel they are not receiving the attention they deserve. Need for attention. Narcissists crave attention and validation from their online audience. They may post frequently to gain more followers, likes, and comments. They may also engage in attention-seeking behaviors, such as posting provocative or controversial content. The need for attention is a common trait among narcissists on social media, where individuals seek validation and recognition from others. Here are some examples of attention-seeking tactics that narcissists may use on social media platforms. 1. Posting frequently. Narcissists may post frequently on social media to increase their visibility and garner attention from their followers. They may post about their daily activities, thoughts, or opinions, even if they are not particularly interesting or noteworthy. 2. Seeking validation. Narcissists may seek validation from others by posting about their accomplishments, appearance, or abilities. For example, they may post pictures of themselves in revealing or provocative clothing to receive compliments or likes. 3. Responding to every notification. Narcissists may respond to every notification they receive on social media to show they are popular and well-liked. They may also respond quickly to messages or comments to show that they are always available and attentive. 4. Creating drama. Narcissists may create drama on social media to gain attention and stir up controversy. For example, they may post provocative statements or engage in arguments with others to generate attention and responses. 5. Publicizing personal information. Narcissists may publicize personal information to gain sympathy or attention from their followers. For example, they may post about their struggles or difficulties to receive support and validation from others. Self-promotion. Narcissists often use social media to promote themselves and their accomplishments. They may frequently post pictures and updates about their material possessions, physical appearance, and social status to gain admiration and attention from their followers. Self-promotion is a crucial aspect of narcissistic behavior on social media. Narcissists use social media platforms to promote their image, achievements, and accomplishments. Here are some examples of self-promotion that narcissists may display on social media. 1. Bragging about accomplishments. Narcissists may constantly boast about their achievements and successes, regardless of how small or insignificant they may be. For example, they may post about their promotions, awards, or other attainments to receive attention and validation from their followers. 2. Posting selfies. Narcissists may frequently post selfies or other pictures of themselves to showcase their appearance and receive compliments from others. They may spend significant time and effort editing and enhancing their photographs to ensure they present the best possible image of themselves. 3. Exaggerating their skills and abilities. Narcissists may exaggerate their skills and abilities to appear more talented or accomplished than they are. For example, they may claim to be experts in a particular field, even with little or no experience. 4. Using social media to promote their brand. Narcissists may use social media as a platform to promote their personal brand or business ventures. They may constantly post about their products or services to gain followers and customers. 5. Seeking validation from others. Narcissists may constantly seek validation and approval to boost their self-esteem. They may post about their achievements or accomplishments to receive likes, comments, and shares from their followers. 
grandiosity. Narcissists may have an exaggerated sense of self-importance, which they showcase on social media. They may claim to be experts in their field, use hyperbolic language to describe their achievements, and present themselves as being better than others. Grandiosity is a common trait among narcissists on social media, where individuals present themselves as superior to others and may exaggerate their accomplishments or abilities. Here are some examples of grandiosity tactics that narcissists may use on social media platforms. 1. Bragging about accomplishments. Narcissists may exaggerate their achievements or abilities to make themselves look more impressive than others. For example, they may post about how they are the best in their field or how they have achieved more than anyone else in their profession. 2. Using hyperbolic language. Narcissists may use hyperbolic language to describe themselves or their accomplishments, such as phrases like world-renowned or the greatest of all time, to make themselves appear more substantial. 3. Presenting oneself as a hero. Narcissists may present themselves as heroes or saviors, often by taking credit for accomplishments resulting from a group effort. For example, they may post about how they saved a company from bankruptcy or how they single-handedly solved a complex problem. 4. Claiming expertise. Narcissists may claim to be experts in a field, even if they do not have the necessary qualifications or experience. For example, they may post how they are the go-to person for advice in a particular industry or field. 5. Belittling others. Narcissists may put down others to make themselves look better. For example, they may criticize the work of others in their profession, or make derogatory comments about individuals who do not meet their standards. Lack of empathy. Narcissists lack empathy for others and often dismiss or invalidate others' feelings and experiences. They may post insensitive comments or engage in trolling behavior without regard for the impact of their actions on others. Lack of empathy is a common trait among narcissists on social media, where individuals may have difficulty understanding or caring about the feelings of others. Here are some examples of lack of empathy that narcissists may display on social media platforms. 1. Disregarding others' opinions. Narcissists may dismiss or ignore the views and feelings of others, even if they are valid or essential. For example, they may dismiss criticism or negative feedback from others and only focus on positive comments. 2. Belittling others' experiences. Narcissists may belittle or downplay the experiences and emotions of others, even if they are struggling or suffering. For example, they may criticize someone for complaining about a minor problem or dismiss someone's mental health struggles as dramatic. 3. Ignoring others' needs. Narcissists may prioritize their own needs and desires over those of others, even if it causes harm or inconvenience. For example, they may ignore requests from friends or colleagues to help with a project or task, even if it is essential. 4. Engaging in online harassment. Narcissists may engage in online harassment such as cyberbullying or trolling, without regard for the feelings or well-being of their targets. They may do this to gain attention or to assert their superiority over others. 5. Lack of remorse. Narcissists may show little or no remorse for their actions or behavior, even if it hurts others. For example, they may continue to post hurtful or offensive comments, even after being told it is causing harm. Entitlement. Narcissists believe that they are entitled to special treatment and privileges. They may demand attention and expect others to cater to their needs, such as by responding to their comments or messages immediately. Entitlement is a common trait among narcissists on social media, where individuals may feel a sense of superiority and entitlement over others. Here are some examples of entitlement that narcissists may display on social media platforms. 1. Believing they deserve special treatment. Narcissists may feel they deserve special treatment or privileges because of their perceived superiority or achievements. For example, they may expect to be given free products or services in exchange for a mention on their social media account. 2. Demanding attention. Narcissists may demand attention and validation from others, even if it requires others to go out of their way to accommodate them. For example, they may expect their friends or followers to respond immediately to their messages or posts and become upset if they do not receive an immediate response. 3. Refusing to follow the rules. Narcissists may feel they are above the rules and regulations that apply to others and may refuse to follow them. For example, they may violate platform rules and guidelines, such as engaging in hate speech or posting inappropriate content, and feel they should not be penalized for their behavior. 4. Expecting others to cater to their needs. 
narcissists may expect others to cater to their needs and desires without considering the needs or feelings of others. For example, they may make unreasonable demands of others, such as asking them to change their plans or schedule to accommodate the narcissist's desires. 5. Reacting with anger or hostility when their demands are unmet. Narcissists may become angry or hostile when their demands or expectations are not met, even if they are unreasonable or unrealistic. For example, they may lash out at others for not giving them the attention or recognition they feel they deserve. Subtypes of Narcissism Note that there are subtypes of narcissism, yet they all fall under the same diagnosis. You may also notice significant overlap with each subtype. Grandiose Narcissism Individuals with grandiose narcissism exhibit a sense of entitlement and believe they are superior to others. They may have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and crave attention and admiration from others. The grandiose subtype of narcissism is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. On social media, individuals with grandiose narcissism may display the following behaviors. 1. Self-promotion Grandiose narcissists may engage in excessive self-promotion on social media, sharing posts and updates highlighting their accomplishments, talents, and achievements to gain admiration and validation from others. 2. Bragging They may boast about their wealth, status, or accomplishments, often in a way that is designed to impress or intimidate others. 3. Seeking attention Grandiose narcissists may seek attention and validation from others by posting provocative or attention-grabbing content on social media, such as revealing photographs or controversial opinions. 4. Displaying arrogance They may exhibit an inflated sense of self-importance and entitlement, acting as if they are above the rules or standards that apply to others. 5. Being insensitive to others They may lack empathy and be cold to the feelings and needs of others on social media, often ignoring or dismissing the perspectives of others in favor of their own. Overt Narcissism Overt narcissists openly display their narcissistic traits and seek validation from others. They may be boastful and exaggerate their accomplishments. The overt subtype of narcissism is characterized by grandiosity, attention-seeking behavior, and self-importance. On social media, individuals with overt narcissism may display their narcissistic traits through their posts such as 1. Self-promotion Overt narcissists may frequently post about their achievements, talents, or experiences to gain admiration and validation from others. They may share posts highlighting their success, such as promotions, awards, or other achievements. 2. Bragging They may frequently post content showing wealth, status, or accomplishments. For example, they may share pictures of expensive cars, luxurious vacations, or designer clothes to demonstrate their superiority in class. 3. Seeking attention Overt narcissists may frequently post content designed to grab attention and provoke a reaction from others. They may post controversial opinions or provocative pictures to gain attention and validation from others. 4. Entitlement They may post content demonstrating their entitlement and superiority. For example, they may complain about not getting special treatment or expect others to meet their needs and wants. 5. Lack of empathy Overt narcissists may post content that ignores or dismisses the feelings and needs of others. They may make insensitive comments or dismiss the opinions of others, demonstrating a lack of empathy. Covert Narcissism Covert narcissists are more subtle in their behavior and may appear humble on the surface. They may use passive-aggressive behavior to manipulate others and seek admiration. Covert narcissism is characterized by feelings of inadequacy, hypersensitivity to criticism, and a lack of self-confidence. On social media, individuals with covert narcissism may display their narcissistic traits through their posts, such as 1. Humble bragging Covert narcissists may post about their accomplishments or positive attributes, but disguise it as self-deprecation or humility. For example, they may post a picture of themselves with the caption, Feeling insecure about my outfit today, but my abs look great, in an attempt to gain validation and admiration from others. 2. Victimhood they may post about their struggles and difficulties to elicit sympathy and attention from others. They may post about their problems in a way that makes them seem like the victim or the hero of the story. 3. Self-pity 
covert narcissists may post about their negative emotions and feelings in a way that seeks attention and validation from others. They may post about feeling lonely or unloved, hoping to elicit sympathy and support from their followers. 4. Passive aggressiveness. They may post cryptic messages or subliminal jabs at others to express their negative emotions or to provoke a response. They may also post content that suggests they are better than others without directly stating it. 5. Idealization. Covert narcissists may post content that idealizes their relationships, experiences, or accomplishments to gain validation and admiration from others. They may post about their perfect partner, their dream job, or their fantastic vacation to demonstrate their superiority. Antagonistic Narcissism Antagonistic narcissists are hostile and may engage in aggressive behavior. They may lash out at others when they feel their sense of superiority is threatened. The antagonistic subtype of narcissism is characterized by a need for dominance, a desire to control others, and a lack of concern for the feelings or needs of others. On social media, individuals with this subtype may display their narcissistic traits through their posts, such as 1. Aggressiveness Antagonistic narcissists may post aggressive or confrontational content designed to intimidate or control others. They may use language that is threatening or belittling to assert their dominance. 2. Criticism. They may post critical comments or reviews of others to demonstrate their superiority and intelligence. They may also post negative comments or reviews to undermine the reputation of others or to provoke a reaction. 3. Controversial opinions. Antagonistic narcissists may post controversial opinions or viewpoints to gain attention and provoke a reaction. They may also use this tactic to demonstrate superiority or assert dominance over others. 4. Insensitivity. They may post insensitive or offensive content to others to demonstrate their lack of concern for the feelings or needs of others. They may also use this tactic to provoke a reaction or assert dominance over others. 5. Attention-seeking behavior. Antagonistic narcissists may engage in attention-seeking behavior, such as posting provocative content, to gain attention and validation from others. They may also use this tactic to provoke a reaction or assert dominance over others. Communal narcissism. Individuals with communal narcissism exhibit a need to be admired for their generosity and altruism. They may engage in charitable acts to boost their self-esteem. The communal subtype of narcissism is characterized by a strong desire for admiration and validation from others, as well as a need to be seen as helpful and kind. On social media, individuals with this subtype may display their narcissistic traits through their posts, such as 1. Virtue Signaling Communal narcissists may post about their charitable work or social justice causes to gain admiration and validation from others. They may use this content to demonstrate their moral superiority or to gain attention. 2. Self-deprecating humor. They may use self-deprecating humor in their posts to gain sympathy and validation from others. This type of humor can also be used to make others feel guilty for not giving them the attention or validation they desire. 3. Public displays of affection. Communal narcissists may post about their romantic relationships or friendships to gain admiration and validation from others. They may use these posts to demonstrate their social status or to show off their ability to maintain close relationships. 4. Humble bragging. They may use humble bragging in their posts to gain admiration and validation from others. This type of behavior involves making a seemingly self-deprecating statement that is actually intended to draw attention to one's achievements or status. 5. Inspirational content. Communal narcissists may post inspirational quotes or stories to gain admiration and validation from others. They may use this content to demonstrate their wisdom or to portray themselves as a source of inspiration to others. Malignant narcissism. Malignant narcissists are the most extreme subtype of narcissism. They exhibit traits of psychopathy and sadism and may engage in harmful behavior towards others. The malignant subtype of narcissism is characterized by a combination of grandiose and antisocial traits, including a lack of empathy, a desire for power and control, and a tendency to exploit others. On social media, individuals with this subtype may display their narcissistic traits through their posts, such as 1. Bullying Malignant narcissists may use social media to bully and intimidate others. They may post derogatory comments, engage in name-calling, or spread rumors about others to gain a sense of power and control. 2. Aggression They may engage in aggressive behavior on social media, such as starting arguments, using inflammatory language, 
or threatening others. This behavior can be used to establish dominance and assert their superiority over others. 3. Attention-seeking Malignant narcissists may use social media to seek attention and admiration from others. They may post provocative or controversial content to gain attention and provoke reactions from others. 4. Self-promotion They may use social media to promote themselves and their achievements, often at the expense of others. They may exaggerate their accomplishments, engage in self-aggrandizement, or belittle the achievements of others to maintain their sense of superiority. 5. Manipulation Malignant narcissists may use social media to manipulate others for their own gain. They may use flattery, deception, or coercion to get what they want from others. All these subtypes fall under one diagnosis of Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD. According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, DSM-5, NPD is characterized by a pervasive pattern of grandiosity, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. It's important to note that not everyone who exhibits narcissistic traits has NPD, and a qualified mental health professional can only make a diagnosis. Question. What if someone has five, six, seven, or even more accounts on one social media platform? Regarding the number of accounts a person has, it is not necessarily a determining factor in whether they exhibit narcissistic traits or not. Some individuals may have multiple accounts for professional or personal reasons. In contrast, others may use fake accounts to create a false sense of popularity or to engage in trolling behavior anonymously. Question. What about people who call themselves influencers? Regarding individuals who call themselves influencers, this can be a common trait among narcissists on social media. Narcissists often crave attention and admiration, and becoming an influencer can provide them with a platform to showcase their accomplishments and gain validation from their followers. However, not all influencers are narcissists, and it's important not to make assumptions based solely on someone's self-proclaimed title. It is important to remember that it is not ethical or responsible to diagnose someone with a personality disorder based solely on their social media presence. However, certain behavior patterns and content may suggest that an influencer on social media is exhibiting narcissistic tendencies. Here are some factors to consider when assessing whether an influencer may have narcissistic traits. 1. Content focus. Is the influencer's content primarily focused on themselves, their appearance, and their achievements? Do they frequently post about their accomplishments and lifestyle while neglecting to interact or engage with their followers? 2. Self-promotion. Is the influencer using their platform to promote themselves and their brand at the expense of others? Do they engage in excessive self-promotion, using hyperbolic language to describe their work or accomplishments? 3. Attention-seeking. Does the influencer frequently post content designed to provoke a reaction or elicit attention, such as controversial or provocative content? Do they seem to thrive on the attention and admiration of their followers? 4. Lack of empathy. Does the influencer show a lack of concern for the feelings and needs of others, especially those in their personal or professional life? Do they engage in behavior that harms or exploits others? 5. Entitlement. Does the influencer feel entitled, feeling they deserve special treatment and attention? Do they become angry or upset when they do not receive the attention or rewards they believe they deserve? It is important to remember that not all influencers who exhibit these behaviors are necessarily narcissistic, and that many individuals use social media to promote their brand and their work. However, if you notice a consistent pattern of behavior that suggests a lack of concern for others, or a preoccupation with self-promotion, it may be worth considering whether the influencer may have narcissistic traits. It is also important to note that diagnosing someone with a personality disorder requires a trained mental health professional who can conduct a thorough assessment and evaluation. Social media presence should not be used as the sole basis for diagnosing someone with a mental health condition. Question. Okay. So, how can you tell the difference between a narcissist and someone who wants to make the world a better place? Narcissism is a personality disorder characterized by grandiosity, lack of empathy, and a constant need for admiration and attention. On the other hand, someone who wants to make the world a better place is driven by a genuine desire to help others and positively impact society. While there may admittedly be some overlap in behavior between narcissists and individuals who want to make the world a better place, the underlying motivations and intentions are vastly different. 
For example, narcissists may engage in philanthropic or charitable activities as a means of self-promotion or to boost their ego, whereas individuals with altruistic intentions are internally motivated by a desire to help others. Research suggests that people who score high on measures of narcissism tend to be more focused on their own needs and desires, and less concerned with the well-being of others. Campbell and Foster, 2007. In contrast, individuals who are motivated by a desire to make the world a better place tend to be more empathetic and other-focused, and are driven by a desire to alleviate suffering and promote social justice. Schwartz et al., 2017. In summary, while there may be some superficial similarities between narcissists and individuals who want to make the world a better place, the underlying motivations and intentions are fundamentally different. Narcissists are primarily focused on themselves and their desires, while individuals who want to make the world a better place are motivated by a desire to help others and promote social good. Spotting Potential Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD, or Borderline Personality Disorder, BPD, in social media profiles can be challenging, as it is not a reliable or accurate way to diagnose someone with a personality disorder. However, there are some common characteristics or red flags that may indicate the presence of NPD or BPD in a person's social media presence. Some signs of NPD in social media profiles may include 1. An excessive focus on self-promotion, self-aggrandizement, and self-centeredness. 2. An obsession with appearance, status, and material possessions. 3. A lack of empathy or concern for others. 4. A tendency to exploit or manipulate others for personal gain. 5. A sense of entitlement or superiority over others. 6. A need for constant admiration and attention from others. Some signs of BPD in social media profiles may include 1. A pattern of unstable relationships and intense, tumultuous emotions. 2. An erratic or impulsive behavior such as excessive spending or risky behavior. 3. A fear of abandonment or rejection leading to clinginess or desperation in relationships. 4. An unstable sense of self-identity and difficulty in knowing who they are or what they want. 5. A tendency towards self-harm or suicidal ideation. 6. A tendency to view things in black and white terms and be easily triggered by perceived criticism or rejection. It is important to note that these signs are not definitive and may not necessarily indicate the presence of a personality disorder. It is also essential to approach such assessments with empathy, understanding, and caution, and seek professional help if concerned about someone's mental health. Question. Okay, so, what if I'm dealing with a narcissist online? What are some things to avoid? When interacting with someone who has narcissistic personality disorder, NPD, online, it's essential to be mindful of your responses and maintain a compassionate and respectful approach. Here are some general guidelines for responding to individuals with NPD on social media, based on expert recommendations and research. Avoid reinforcing grandiosity. It's important not to reinforce or feed into grandiose self-perceptions, as this may enable narcissistic behavior. Ronningstam, 2016. Instead, focus on acknowledging the person's feelings without validating their exaggerated self-importance. For example, let's say someone with NPD posts on social media about a recent accomplishment and adds that they are the best at what they do, clearly expecting praise and admiration. Instead of responding with comments like, you truly are the best, or no one else can do it like you, which would reinforce their grandiosity, opt for a more balanced response that acknowledges their feelings without validating their exaggerated self-importance. A more appropriate response could be, congratulations on your accomplishment. It's great to see your hard work paying off. This response acknowledges the person's achievement and recognizes their effort, but it doesn't feed into their grandiose self-perception or support the idea that they are superior to others. By focusing on the specific accomplishment rather than their exaggerated self-image, you can provide encouragement and support without enabling narcissistic behavior. Set boundaries. Maintain clear and respectful boundaries in your interactions with individuals with NPD, as they may have difficulties recognizing and respecting the boundaries of others. Campbell and Miller, 2011. Be assertive about your own limits and expectations while remaining empathetic and understanding. Let's say someone with NPD is dominating a conversation on social media, constantly talking about themselves and their accomplishments, and expecting everyone to engage with their posts. You want to maintain a friendly relationship, but you also want to set boundaries to avoid being overwhelmed by their behavior. 
A good example of setting boundaries could be responding with a comment like this. It's nice to see you're proud of your achievements. However, I think it's also essential for us to give others a chance to share their experiences and accomplishments. Let's try to make this conversation more inclusive and engaging for everyone. In this response, you assertively communicate your expectations for a more balanced and inclusive conversation without being confrontational. By setting this boundary, you express your desire for mutual respect and empathy in your interactions, while still acknowledging the individual's feelings and accomplishments. This way, you maintain a respectful relationship without allowing the person with NPD to dominate the conversation or violate others' boundaries. Offer support without enabling. If someone with NPD is experiencing difficulties, provide support and encouragement without enabling unhealthy or manipulative behaviors. American Psychological Association, 2013. Offer a listening ear and suggest resources like mental health professionals or support groups where they can seek help. Suppose someone with NPD is posting on social media about facing challenges at work and blaming others for their difficulties. They might be expecting sympathy and validation for their point of view. Instead of feeding into their manipulative behaviors, you can offer support without enabling them by responding like this. I'm sorry to hear you're having a tough time at work. It's essential to address these challenges and find a solution that works for everyone involved. Have you considered talking to a mental health professional or joining a support group? They can offer guidance and help you navigate through these difficult situations more effectively. In this response, you're empathizing with the person's struggles and acknowledging their feelings. However, you're also suggesting resources like mental health professionals or support groups where they can seek help instead of validating their blaming behavior or manipulative tactics. This way, you're offering support without enabling their unhealthy behaviors, encouraging them to seek appropriate assistance for their issues. Avoid engaging in arguments or confrontations. Individuals with NPD may be more prone to react defensively when challenged or criticized. Ronningstam, 2016. If a disagreement arises, try to remain calm and composed, focusing on resolving the issue without escalating the situation. Imagine someone with NPD posts a comment on social media, taking credit for someone else's idea or work. Instead of directly confronting them or accusing them of stealing, you can choose to avoid engaging in an argument by responding calmly and diplomatically like this. Hi, name. It's great to see that you appreciate this idea. I believe it was originally presented by original contributor. It's wonderful to see people collaborating and sharing ideas. Let's make sure we give credit where it's due so we can continue to learn from one another. In this response, you're acknowledging the situation and gently reminding the person with NPD to give proper credit without directly confronting them or escalating the situation. By doing so, you're focusing on resolving the issue while minimizing the potential for defensiveness or further conflict. Practice empathy. Show empathy by trying to understand the person's perspective and feelings. Gabbard, 2011. Acknowledge their emotions without reinforcing narcissistic tendencies and express your understanding of their struggles. Imagine someone with NPD posts a comment on social media, expressing frustration about not receiving enough recognition or praise for their achievements. Instead of feeding their need for validation, you can practice empathy by responding like this. Hi name. I understand that it can be disheartening when you feel like your hard work goes unnoticed. It's natural for people to desire recognition for their accomplishments. Just remember that self-worth isn't solely based on external validation. I hope you can find ways to appreciate and celebrate your own achievements, regardless of others' opinions. In this response, you're showing empathy by acknowledging their feelings and expressing understanding for their struggles, but you're not reinforcing their need for external validation. Instead, you're encouraging them to find value in their achievements without relying solely on the opinions of others. It's important to remember that these guidelines are general suggestions and may not apply to every situation or person with NPD. People with NPD are not a monolithic group, so it's crucial to tailor your approach to each individual's needs and preferences. Question. Okay, what you're saying in this podcast. What if I can see some of this in myself? What can I do if I think I might be a narcissist? If you suspect you might be a narcissist, seeking help from a mental health professional is the best course of action. A therapist can provide a diagnosis and help you develop strategies for managing your symptoms. Here are some other steps you can take. 1. Take an online screening test. Online tests like the Narcissistic Personality Inventory can help you determine if you have narcissistic traits. 2. 
learn about narcissism. Educating yourself about narcissistic traits and behaviors can help you understand your thoughts and actions. 3. Practice self-reflection. Reflect on your behavior and how it affects others. Consider keeping a journal to track your thoughts and emotions. 4. Practice empathy. Work on putting yourself in other people's shoes and considering their perspectives. This consideration can help you develop more meaningful relationships. There are a few books that could help begin to develop empathy. The Empathy Trap by Dr. Jane McGregor and Tim McGregor. This book explores the roots of narcissism and offers insights into how empathy can be developed. The Power of Empathy by Arthur Tira McCauley. This book offers practical exercises and techniques for developing empathy, including how to listen effectively and connect with others on an emotional level. The Narcissism Epidemic by Jean Twenge and W. Keith Campbell. This book explores the cultural factors that contribute to narcissism and offers insights into how to break the cycle of narcissism. The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck. This classic self-help book explores the importance of emotional growth and offers insights into how to develop empathy and deepen one's relationships with others. It's important to note that while books can be a helpful starting point, developing empathy is a process that requires consistent effort and self-reflection. A narcissist may benefit from therapy with a licensed mental health professional who specializes in treating narcissism. 5. Practice self-care. Focus on taking care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally. This self-care can include exercise, meditation, therapy, and other self-care practices. It's important to note that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. With the proper support, grit, and determination to change, you can learn to manage your narcissistic traits and build more fulfilling relationships. If you want to learn more about narcissism and its impact on social media, relationships, and everyday life, check out these sources. The American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, DSM-5, provides a comprehensive overview of narcissistic personality disorder. Meanwhile, studies like those by Buffardi and Campbell, 2008, and Carpenter, 2012, shed light on how narcissism manifests in social media behavior. For a deeper look at how narcissism affects romantic relationships, Campbell and Foster's 2007 study is a must-read. And for a broader examination of narcissism's impact on leadership and self-regulation, Campbell and Campbell's 2009 study is worth a look. Miller and Campbell's 2010 study also makes a compelling case for using research on trait narcissism to understand narcissistic personality disorder better. Finally, Reedy et al.'s 2008 study explores the link between narcissistic entitlement and physical aggression, while Rose's 2002 study examines the different facets of narcissism and their effects on well-being. To get a more comprehensive picture of narcissism and its impact on society, NAMS and Appel's 2018 meta-analysis is a great place to start. Remember that individuals with narcissistic personality disorder, NPD, may exhibit certain patterns in their social media posts. Here are some examples of posts a person with NPD might share. 1. Posts boasting about achievements. Just got promoted at work again. I must be the youngest person to ever reach this position. Hash winning. 2. Posts seeking admiration. Can't believe how many people told me I look like a movie star today. What can I say? I've always had that Hollywood charm. 3. Posts about superficial interests. Check out my new luxury car. Only the best for me. Hash living large. 4. Posts that exaggerate accomplishments. Just ran a marathon in record time. I bet nobody can beat my time. 5. Posts belittling or criticizing others. I don't understand how some people can be so lazy and unambitious. I'm always pushing myself to succeed and be the best. 6. Posts that showcase a grandiose self-image. I've always been a natural leader. People just naturally follow me because they recognize greatness when they see it. 7. Posts that demonstrate entitlement. I can't believe I had to wait in line like everyone else at the coffee shop. Don't they know who I am? Please note that these examples are not exhaustive, and individuals with NPD may express themselves differently online. It is important to approach these posts with understanding and empathy while maintaining healthy boundaries and avoiding reinforcement of narcissistic tendencies. References used for this podcast are as follows. American Psychiatric Association, 2013. Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, DSM-5, Arlington, Virginia, American Psychiatric Publishing. 
Buffardi, L.E., and Campbell, W.K., 2008. Narcissism and Social Networking Websites. Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin, 3410, 1303-1314. Campbell, W.K., and Foster, C.A., 2007. Narcissism and Commitment in Romantic Relationships. An Investment Model Analysis. Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin, 33, 7, 935, 947. Campbell, W.K. and Campbell, S.M., 2009. On the Self-Regulatory Dynamics Created by the Peculiar Benefits and Costs of Narcissism. A Contextual Reinforcement Model and Examination of Leadership. Self and Identity, 8, 3, 214, 232. Carpenter, C.J., 2012. Narcissism on Facebook. Self-promotional and antisocial behavior. Personality and individual differences. 52, 4, 482, 486. Nams, T. and Appel, M., 2018. Narcissism and Social Media Use. A Meta-Analytic Review. Psychology of Popular Media Culture, 7, 3, 308, 325. Holtzman, N.S., Vizier, S., and Mail, M.R., 2010. Sounds Like a Narcissist. Behavioral Manifestations of Narcissism in Everyday Life. Journal of Research and Personality, 44, 4, 478, 484. Miller, J.D., and Campbell, W.K., 2010. The Case for Using Research on Trait Narcissism as a Building Block for Understanding Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Personality Disorders. Theory, Research, and Treatment. 1, 3, 180, 191. Miller, J.D., Lynham, D.R., McCain, J.L., Few, L.R., Krigo, C., Whittaker, T.A., and Campbell, W.K., 2016. Thinking Structurally About Narcissism. An Examination of the Five-Factor Narcissism Inventory and Its Components. Journal of Personality Disorders, 30, 1, 1, 18. Pincus, A.L. and Lukowitzki, Emstar, 2010. Pathological Narcissism and Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Annual Review of Clinical Psychology, 6, 421, 446. Raskin R. and Terry H., 1988. A Principal Components Analysis of the Narcissistic Personality Inventory and Further Evidence of Its Construct Validity. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, 54, 5, 890, 902. Reedy, D. E., Zeichner, A., Foster, J. D., and Martinez, M. A., 2008. Effects of Narcissistic Entitlement and Exploitativeness on Human Physical Aggression. Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, 95, 4, 877, 889. Rose P., 2002. The Happy and Unhappy Faces of Narcissism. Personality and Individual Differences, 33, 3, 379, 391. Thank you for listening to this episode on spotting a potential narcissist on social media. Future episodes will discuss traits to look for when seeking a good relationship or partner and delve into attachment theory. Remember, while not everyone who exhibits narcissistic traits is a narcissist, it's essential to be aware of the signs. By understanding the different subtypes of narcissism and the tactics they use on social media, you can better protect yourself from potential harm. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to our podcast for more informative discussions. Thank you for tuning in.